Let's keep going. Ah, okay. Now we need a host for this meeting. <laughs> Johanna, I volunteer you. Do you want to take it away? Um, okay, um, cool. I can do that. So let me start with the LT updates. Um, since the last community meeting and the LT updates are relatively easy, the LT is busy with Seek Week. If you um, haven't heard, we are having Seek Week this year in August. The exact date is, I think, August 13th to 15th. Um, you have about two weeks left to submit talks, and it would also be great if you uh, would register if you're interested like, to come. It will be an awesome event. We are going to have approximately 20 talks, and there are two trainings that have um, limited slots available. So if you're interested in trainings, you should probably um, register for them. And um, that's kind of what the LT has been up to. Um, we've also talked a little bit about uh, modernizing some parts of the web page, but that's kind of a secondary thing. Christian, do you want to talk about the technical stuff? <laughs> Exactly. Let's volunteer each other. I think this is actually great. Yes, I am not super prepared for this today, which reflects sort of uh, where we are in, in in the cycle. It's sort of like down in in uh, heads down in development. Um, so we've entered the final stretch on the road to Zeek 7. We just merged a real biggie that was all Tim's work. And Tim is welcome to talk more about if you like. But it's the revamp of our telemetry framework uh, as part of taking things out of broker that should never really, we think at this point, um, have landed in it to make it easier to swap out broker in the future for other message passing subsystems. Um, so this just landed, this is part of the sort of, you know, big things that will be in Zeek 7. Uh, a few other things are still in flight. And to give people a rough timeline, we're planning to fork the Zeek 7 RC um, in, uh, Toward the early part of the second half of June, I'm going to say, <laughs> uh, we will be doing this without Tim this time, which is going to be a first because Tim is going to be out uh, at that point on a well-deserved vacation. And then the actual release should happen uh, in July, probably around the middle of July, so certainly before Zeek Week. Um, and we'll be talking about that more sort of as that time comes closer. Other than that, um, I don't recall, Tim, did we talk here about the patch releases since last time? I am not sure right now. There were two. Don't believe that. Yeah, okay. So two came out. They were not security fixes, but just sort of a bunch of like, you know, basically bug fixes for the 6.0 and 6.2 series. So if you're running either of those, please upgrade. Um, let me see what else is going on. Um, I had extended an invitation today to Martin and Hensbergen to join us in this community call because he is going around in uh, the community's Zeek repo, Zeek package repos, sorry, I should say, to basically modernize them where he sees some bit rot. And this is terrific. This is, this is, this happens only once in a blue moon. Like the, the last time I think somebody volunteered to do that a little bit was Seth Grover a couple of years ago. And I think this is going extremely well. So we'd like to help him where we can and look out for PRs coming in with modernizations. Uh, he couldn't make it today, but um, th from our side, this is just a huge thank you. Thank you very, very much for doing this. I think this is, this is excellent. So we'll, we'll see um, what we can do there to, to do more of that in the future. Um, Let's see. I don't think I immediately have anything else that on the technical side people absolutely have to know about. So yeah, Zeek 7 is on the radar. Uh, we're working toward it. Um, fingers crossed. And I think I'm going to volunteer Richard next. All right. Um, yeah, I don't have anything other than thank you for helping me with that extract files directory issue. And uh, it'd be nice if... Uh, if that changes, otherwise, it's just simply recognizing that the the behavior is as it is. And obviously, if anybody's not following along what I'm talking about, I was doing some testing with installing just Zeek from scratch, and uh, encountered behavior that if you run Zeek and you extract some files, once you stop Zeek, the there's a process that goes through and um, zips up the log files, but uh, it also deletes the extract files directory. And I, I imagine most people aren't running into this because no one's really made a issue out of it. Possibly it's because if you're using it, you're doing something with those files, uh, you know, an external process that you run to, you know, hash them and send the hash to virus total or whatever, you know, wizardry you do, Strelka, whatever it might be. Um, but uh, Christian mentioned he's going to take a look at it. So 
maybe that'll change. And by the way, it doesn't um, it doesn't occur when you just run Zeek against a PCAP. And that could be another reason why people aren't finding it uh, as an issue. So that's all for me. Yeah, perfect, Richard. And and thank you for flagging that. I think this was really just something that we weren't really aware of. And um, Arne and I have already looked a little bit, and it seems clear that we could probably just generally do better about how we extract files and 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 notify things that we're done extracting files. Um, so we'll take a look. So it, it everything you observed made sense. This is um, basically a consequence of how Z control currently cleans up logs, and that's that's just sort of you know what that is, and it's it's not a big deal. But thank you for flagging. I think we were literally just not aware of it. Um, that's cool. Is the idea to just move that? directory into the day directory then perhaps or um, something so, like that. And, and minimally we can simply get it out of that processing path. So it, it, it we were thinking that it could stay in spool in a directory in there because it sort of has the right flavor to it that the logs directory sort of as an official sort of output folder doesn't really apply to extracted files. Yeah. Um, but it needs to get out of the path of where Z control just sort of like moves things and then sort of you know cranks through it. And and that's really easy to do. We just basically need to change defaults there. Um, okay. And then what we do beyond that, like we can sort of take take offline and, and, and see about that. But yeah. Yeah, that sounds cool. All right. Cool, guys. I uh, think we're done here, Johanna. I, <laughs> if you want to wrap it up at this point, but I think. Yep, I think that yeah. was a nice and short meeting. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> and um. Come to see me, register, submit talks. Yeah, no um, kidding, people. Show up. <laughs> okay. And um, oh yeah, also one thing, I forgot a thing. Um, we are going to post a call for sponsors for Seek Week today hmm. on our webpage. Um, if you're interested in that, write us to the email address I mentioned it, which is sponsor at seek.org. And apart from that, I'll see you all in a month. Thank you very much. Thanks, folks. Great stuff.